over how to graph the image using a reflection. Let's look at the first question. Graph the image of rectangle PQRS after a reflection over the x-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal axis and the y-axis is the vertical axis. To reflect over the x-axis, you want to flip the image from, in this case, above the x-axis to below the x-axis. We'll do this point by point. Let's start with the first point P. Point P is located at 12 along the x, 11 along the x-axis and up 4. To flip point P over the x-axis, we want to move it four units below, the same distance it is above. We'll go back to the x-axis and then we go four units below and we mark a point. Let's look at the next point. Point Q is also located at 11 on the x-axis, but it is up at 11 on the y-axis as well. To flip point Q to the other side of the x-axis, we go back down to zero and then down the same distance to 11 below the x-axis. Now let's look at point R. Point R is located at six along the x-axis and up to 11 on the y-axis. To flip it over the x-axis, we go back to zero and then go down the same number it is up to 11. The last point S is located at six on the x-axis and up to four. To flip it, we go back down to zero and then go down four units below the x-axis. And we have now reflected rectangle PQRS over the x-axis. Graph the image of rectangle ABCD after a reflection over the x-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal and the y is the vertical axis. To move or reflect an image over the x-axis, we flip it to the other side. In this case, ABCD is above the x-axis. We want to move it below the x-axis the same distance. Let's look at each point. Point A is located at 10 on the x-axis and up to five. To flip it over the x-axis or reflect it, we go back to zero and then go down the same number of units, five, below the x-axis. Let's look at point B. Point B is located at 10 on the x-axis and all the way up to 10 on the y-axis. To reflect it over the x-axis, we move back down to zero and then move 10 units down. The next point is point C. Point C is located at three on the x-axis and all the way up to 10 on the y-axis. To reflect it over the x-axis, we move back down to zero and then down 10 units below the x-axis. The last point is point D. Point D is located at three on the x-axis and up to five on the y-axis. To reflect it over the x-axis, we go back down to zero and then down five units. We have now reflected rectangle ABCD over the x-axis. Graph the image of rectangle PQRS after a reflection over the x-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal axis and the y-axis is the vertical. To reflect PQRS over the x-axis, we want to flip it to below the x-axis. We'll move every point to the same distance below that it is located above. Let's start with point P. Point P is located at nine on the x-axis and up to five. To reflect it over the x-axis, we move back down to zero and then go down five units. Point Q, is located at nine on the x-axis and up 10 units on the y-axis. To reflect point Q over the x-axis, we move back down to zero and then move down 10 units on the y-axis. Next is point R. Point R is located at one on the x-axis and all the way up to 10. To reflect point R over the x-axis, we go back down to zero and then go down 10 units. Our last point, point S, is located at one on the x-axis and up to five. To reflect it, we move back down to zero and then down five units. 
we have reflected rectangle PQRS over the x-axis. Graph the image of rectangle PQRS after a reflection over the x-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal axis and the y-axis is the vertical axis. To reflect over the x-axis, we want to flip PQRS over to the bottom below the x-axis. Let's look at the distance each point is from the x-axis and move it to the bottom. Point P is located at 9 on the x-axis and up to 2. To reflect it over the x-axis, we move back to 0 and then down 2 units. Point Q is located at 9 on the x-axis and all the way up to 12 on the y-axis. To reflect point Q over the x-axis, we move back down to 0 and then down 12 units and we mark the point Q. Next is point R. Point R is located at 5 on the x-axis and up to 12 on the y-axis. To reflect point R over the x-axis, we move back down to 0 and then down 12 units and mark a point. The last point, point S, is located at 5 on the x-axis and up to 2 on the y-axis. To reflect over the x-axis, we move back to 0 and then down 2 units and mark a point. We've reflected rectangle PQRS over the x-axis. Graph the image of rectangle EFGH after a reflection over the y-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal axis, and the y-axis is the vertical axis. To reflect over the y-axis, we want to move, in this case, rectangle EFGH from the right side of the y-axis and flip it to the left side. To do that, we're going to move each point the same distance from the y-axis to the other side. Let's start with our first point. Point E is located at 11 on the x-axis and up to 7 on the y-axis. To flip it to the other side of the y-axis, we're going to move back to the y-axis and then we're going to move the same distance to the left 11 units and mark a point. The next point, point F, is located up 12 units on the y-axis and over 11 units on the x-axis. To reflect point F over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis and then we move to the left the same number of units it was to the right, 11, and we mark a point. The next point is point G. Point G is located at 12 on the y-axis and over 4 units on the x-axis. To reflect over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis and then we move to the left 4 units and we mark a point. The last point is point H. Point H is located at 7 on the y-axis and over 4 on the x-axis. To reflect over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis and then to the left, the same number of units, 4, and we mark a point. We've reflected rectangle EF GH over the y-axis. Graph the image of rectangle EFGH after a reflection over the y-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal axis and the y-axis is the vertical. To reflect over the y-axis, we want to flip rectangle EFGH to the other side and move all of the points from the right to the left. Let's start with the first point. Point E is located up 3 units on the y-axis and over 12 units on the x-axis. To reflect over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis and then to the left, the same number of units, 12. The next point, point F, is located up the y-axis, 11 units, and to the right along the x-axis, 12 units. To reflect over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis, and then to the left, the same number of units, 12. 
The next point, point G, is up 11 units on the x y axis and to the right, 8 units along the x axis. To reflect over the y axis, we move back to zero and then to the left, 8 units and mark a point. The last point, point H, is up 3 units on the y axis and over 8 units on the x axis. To reflect over the y axis, we move back to zero or the, on the y axis and then we travel to the left the same distance, 8 units, and mark the final point. We have reflected rectangle EFGH over the y axis. Graph the image of rectangle KLMN after a reflection over the y axis. The x axis is the horizontal axis and the y axis is the vertical axis. To reflect over the y axis, we want to flip rectangle KLMN to the left side of the y axis. Let's start with the first point. Point K is up 8 units and to the right, 12 units. To reflect over the y axis, we move back to the y axis and then we move to the left, 12 units. The next point L is up 12 units and to the right, 12 units. To reflect over the y axis, we move back to the y axis and then to the left the same number of units and mark a point, 12. The next point, M, is up 12 units on the y axis and to the right, 4 units. To reflect over the y axis, we move back to the y axis and then to the left the same number of units, 4, and mark a point. The last point, point N, is up 8 units and to the right, four units. To reflect over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis, and then to the left, the same number of units, four, and we mark a point. We have reflected KLMN over the y-axis. Graph the image of rectangle KLMN after a reflection over the y-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal axis, and the y-axis is the vertical axis. To reflect KLMN over the y-axis, we want to flip it over to the left-hand side. Let's start with the first point. K is up 7 units and to the right, 12 units. To reflect over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis and then to the left, 12 units and mark a point. L is up 11 units and to the right, 12 units. To reflect over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis and to the left, 12 units, and we mark a point. M is up 11 units and to the right, 2. To reflect over the y-axis, we move back to 0 and then left the same number of units, 2, and mark a point. N, the last point, is up to 7 and over to the right, 2 units. To reflect over the y-axis, we move back to y-axis and then to the left the same number of units, 2, and we mark our final point. We've reflected rectangle KLMN over the y-axis. Graph the image of rectangle ABCD after a reflection over the y-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal axis and the y-axis is the vertical axis. To reflect over the y-axis, we want to flip all the points to the other side and move the rectangle to the left of the y-axis. Let's start with the first point. Point A is located on the x-axis and to the right, 8. To flip it over the y-axis, we want to move back to the y-axis and then to the left the same number of points, 8, and plot. Point B is located up 11 units and to the right, 8 units. To flip it over the y-axis or reflect it over the y-axis, we move it back to the y-axis and then to the left, the same number of units, 8, and we mark a point. Point C is located on the y-axis, up 11 units. Because it is on the axis, when you flip it, it remains in the same location, so we mark the point. 
Point D is located at the origin, 0, 0. When you reflect a point on the origin over the y-axis, it remains in the same location. So it doesn't move. We mark our final point. We have now reflected rectangle ABCD over the y-axis. Graph the image of rectangle EFGH after a reflection over the y-axis. The x-axis is the horizontal axis and the y-axis is the vertical axis. To reflect EFGH over the y-axis, we want to flip it over the y-axis to the other side. Let's start with the first point. Point E is located up 3 units and to the right 12 units. To reflect it over the y-axis, we go back to 0 or the y on the y-axis and then to the left 12 units. Point F is next. Point F is up 7 units and to the right 12 units. To reflect it over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis and then to the left the same number of units, 12, and mark a point. Point G is located up 7 units and to the right 1 unit. To reflect it over the y-axis, we move back to the y-axis and the same number of units to the left, 1 and mark a point. The last point, point H, is located at three up the y-axis and one unit to the right. To reflect it over the y-axis, we move back to zero and then to the left, one unit, and mark a point. We have reflected EFGH over the y-axis.